Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with another special guest. So many, gosh, on the Gratitude podcast interview regarding the pandemic. And today I'm very blessed to have my baby sister, or as I always call her, my favorite sister. I only have one, but nonetheless, she's my favorite. My sister, Gina Marcel, all the way from Salida, Colorado. Gina, welcome to the podcast. Hello. <laughs> so hi, we're everyone. We're trying to extend information and tips and tidbits and different things. You're a very motivated, aggressive person, always been very inspiring and so forth. And we'll get to that in a minute. But let me start out with my first question is, is that what is your best coping mechanism during this pandemic? Certainly unprecedented in our lifetime. Probably just knowing that this too will pass. Um, I've actually been reading a little bit about other pandemics you know from years and years ago and you know they're not exactly the same as this but we always end up getting through them so that's probably that and just i don't really i try not to worry i just try to stay busy yeah that's you it that's, you've always been very busy always i know whenever i talk to you, you always have a thousand things going on so so obviously i talk about gratitude a lot is that gratitude guy and during this uncertain time, is do you find what you're grateful for has changed, or are you still grateful for the same things that you think about every day in your life? And, and, and really, what's at the top of the list, the top one or two things you're grateful for? Well, for one thing, I do think it's changed um, because I think, I mean, the older I get, the more I realize it's the simple things in life that, that you know, kind of makes us happy. And so now I'm even more focused and grateful for those simple things in life. And um, I actually wrote down a few things. I'm starting to write a little bit more uh, on paper and pen for oh, what good. I'm grateful for. I know I've, I've, I've resisted in the past, but I'm trying to get better at it. So um, can I Absolutely. look at my list here? Absolutely. I am grateful for the fact that I am healthy. So obviously that's, <laughs> that's on everybody's minds right now. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm also grateful that I have uh, a certain amount of a good head on my shoulders and intelligence. Not that I had anything to do with it, but I, I was born with that. Um, I'm grateful that I happen to love being domestic and I'm very domestic and I'm doing a lot more of that now. Mm -hmm. um, obviously. Um, and I know how to be domestic i have a lot of those kind of classic domestic skills like cooking and sewing and i started knitting again and um i'm making some masks you know from the sewing machine and so i'm, I'm grateful that i already know how to do all that mm. um and i think um these are just the top of the list i've got tons of stuff here but um i'm grateful to have been raised by a woman who was raised in the depression. I think True. you know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> and she kind of always raised us, at least with, with me, as if we were still in the depression. Right. And so she taught me a lot of kind of frugal, nice, thrifty ways. And I've always kind of uh, lived my life that way, but now more than ever, I'm so grateful to have those habits and 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 those skills like mm -hmm. like just today i was making um a cake for my husband's birthday and i didn't have any brown sugar because i needed some for this cake and i went oh no problem i've got white sugar and i've got molasses you mm -hmm. know i'll just mix those together mm -hmm. now i've got brown sugar so yeah. I, mean, I know how to make those little substitutions and things like yeah. that that's good. That's good. So being somebody who is so energetic, motivated, as I said earlier, I don't think everybody's that way. In fact, I know not everybody's that way. But so during this really uncertain time, what are some tips or thoughts or ideas you might have for things for people to do when they're basically housebound and staying at home? Well, that's a good one. I, I'm so used to staying at home because I work from home. So it's not a lot different than what I normally do. Um, I would say try to resurrect some hobbies. Um, mm, that's a good one. I know that 
a lot of people have started gardening for the first time or maybe, you know, a, a renewed interest uh, in gardening. I know I've gotten more interested in gardening uh, this year. I mean, I've always been interested in gardening, but now I have more time. Right. So right. I'm, um, I'm really, that's my, my biggest thing right now is I'm just like nurturing these little baby plants. And like I, I posted the other day, I feel like if you saw the movie with Matt Damon, The Martian, where he, oh, yeah. he has to grow his own potatoes. Right. And he's babying these little tiny plants. And that's kind of how I feel right now is like they're my little babies that I'm nurturing to right. grow. But yeah, and then like I mentioned earlier, I started knitting again. I haven't knitted oh, for that's years. Great. That's um, great. And so if you can find whatever around your house, hopefully that you have, that you can, whether it's maybe picking up a book that you haven't read for a long time or cooking or mm -hmm. just calling friends that you haven't, you know, like that's one thing I'm doing now is uh, once a day, I'm picking up the actual phone instead of texting and oh, calling nice. friends that I may have not talked to. That's nice. You know, on the phone, actual phone. Yeah, that's great. And, and reconnecting to old friendships and so forth is a neat idea. Yeah. And just, I think a lot of times it's things on the to-do list that we never get around to, the famous go, go get around to it. And uh, it just is a perfect time to do them because you're going to be stuck in your house or by your in your garage or your basement or something. And maybe those projects get done that have never gotten done. So, so last question is when you... Think about your life. Do you have a quote or a philosophy or sort of a mindset that's kind of directed you your whole life that uh, is something, I mean, a lot of people say, oh yeah, my quote is such and such or sort of just a life philosophy that you use to sustain Gina? Where there's a will, there's a way. Mm. That's always been my favorite that's a quote good one. for me. Yeah. Good one. If I really want to do something, I'll figure out a way to do it and, uh, and get it done. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I know just shortly before we started this, I was getting a little frustrated with some technology. And sure enough, I just stuck with it and kept powering through and finally got handled. So that's a good one. But yeah, yeah if there's ever a, a time where there's a will, there's a way, it's this time because we don't know how long this is going to last and so forth. So anyway, but well, listen, thank you, my dear. Those were tremendous tips. I so appreciate you being on the podcast. All right. My pleasure. All right. Take it easy. Yeah. See you soon. Talk to you, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.